Well, our incredible run of seeing owls continues. As you can see, peering through a jackalberry tree is a beautiful spotted eagle owl. Now, there's not just one, there's actually two of them. The other one I can't see at the moment. If They both flew out of the underbrush as we were driving in the Mulawati and now has at least landed in a gap that we can see. Now, we know it's a spotted eagle owl just from its general sort of look it's got that mottled gray brown appearance and those bright yellow eyes they look quite similar to another eagle owl species that occurs in south africa the cape eagle owl but the cape eagle owl tends to have a much more orange colored eye and obviously doesn't occur in this area given that it's a cape eagle owl but it's a nice find i actually haven't seen these spotted eagle owls in this area before and generally if you get a pair in a, in a section like this they should become fairly resident and we should hopefully see them quite often i wonder if they're not prepping to start looking for a nesting site or trying to start prepping to breed because they do breed their height of their breeding season is now august september this is when they will breed extensively. They do breed through the rest of the year, but August, September, October is the heightened period of breeding. So I wonder if they're not prepping, trying to find a nest somewhere in this particular section, and these big jackalberries will be a perfect place for them. But you can see it's got the fake ear tufts, so those are not actual ears that stick up. It's just little tufts of feathers that go in that direction. But this is so cool to see. I, like I say, we've had such a great run. Taylor's had that magnificent sighting of the Varroes, We've had these two eagle owls. We had the pearl spotted owlets last night. There's been barred and scopped owls. And sometimes we go long periods without seeing them. So I'm super happy that we've been able to find a lot more in the last few weeks. And to see them during the day is even more special. So very, very happy. And the camouflage of that bird is unbelievable. From where we are now, you can see that it looks really clear on the monitor. But if Seb comes out a little bit, you'll see how that mottled appearance just starts to blend in. So that's also still zoomed in and our visual from here, if you were driving along, it would be very difficult to see that. There you go. That's what we're seeing basically from here and try to spot an eagle owl in that. It really is amazing camouflage. Roshni, you're wondering if these owls are monogamous? Yes, they are. So once they pair together, they're much like the eagle species that they will actually stay together for life. Is it still there? Se yeah, have you lost it now? <laughs> so Seb's battling to find it. That just shows you how camouflaged it is. It is still there, Seb. I can see it. Um, somewhere there. I don't know where it... Up and to the left is what Alice says. There we go. Well done, Alice. So Alice. Alice is on the ball this morning. She obviously had a good night's sleep because she's spotting the owlets or the owls through our lenses. So well done, Alice. But yes, they are monogamous and they, and they will be residents in an area, like I said. So once you find them in a section like this, you'll find that they'll actually spend a lot of time in this area. And I wouldn't be surprised if we start to see them on the Twin Dams Road. They're often a species that likes to be on the road. They don't like to actually um spend too much time in the thickets when they are at night they set land on the road and then they watch for all kinds of things that move around rodents and varying other things and then they'll fl they go and grab them so we should see these guys on twin dams and i'd imagine along the Mulawati. wouldn't it be cool if they nest and we get a eagle owl nest as well that would be something spectacular i remember in in uh, Ledwood, which is where Brent's parents live, and in Hootspreet, and he once went with Brent there, and they were actually nesting in the bank of a riverbed, much like this, and you could eye level with the chicks. It was really quite something. So I'll check where they were just now. Maybe they're going to utilize a similar area in the Mulawati. Now, we're going to carry on and give our owls a little bit of peace and quiet, and while we do that, let's head back to Taylor and see if she's still with her Ellie's.